Hey everyone, Chris Hall here from Vasher Films in Pasadena, California, welcoming you to another episode of Anatomy of a Grade. In episode three, we're going to take a look at the feature-length film Trail of Blood, executive produced by Gremlins director Joe Dante, and directed by the brothers Joseph and Justin Guerreri, and shot by DP Colin Brink. We're going to take a look today at an example of underexposure and how we can fix it. The film was shot on the RED camera, which gives us a whole bunch of latitude in post-production due to RED's raw 12-bit recording format. And we're going to utilize that latitude to fix this shot here. You can see this shot was done at the end of the day, and you can see everything's gone this kind of very underexposed bluish hue. We need to make this look like daytime. We need to make it look like this. So let's jump right in and get started on this. So the first thing I'm going to do is alter some of the metadata in the red raw image. Now I'm not going to go into a detailed explanation of red raw and how that works here, but suffice it to say in many color correction programs we can actually affect the original uncorrected raw 12-bit image. So the first thing I'm going to do is up the exposure and watch me do it here. I'm going to bring it up about two times the original exposure. The next thing I'm going to do is change the color temperature of the image. And I'm going to up this to about 14,000 degrees Kelvin, which is significantly warmer. So let's get it up there, and we're just about there. Okay. Okay, so now we have something that looks like this. It used to look like this, and we've brought it here. So we've made a significant improvement to the image. Now, we need to do some primary color correction. So I'm going to lower my blacks raise my whites a little bit and I'm going to just nudge the blacks a little bit away from green so we've got a pretty good looking image now but we've introduced a couple of problems here the first thing is that because we've brought up the exposure so much this area behind the actors is now full of noise the red camera and the early sensors on it are notorious for having noise in the dark gray areas just before reaching black. And this is a very noisy area. So we need to fix that. We're going to do that using a secondary correction of just the dark areas of the frame, just our shadows. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is actually select this area here that's the dark area of a frame. I'm gonna pull a key from it and it looks something like this. You can see all the dark areas of the frame have been selected in white and it includes some information on our actors and that's okay because that can be noisy as well and we want to pull that down so now here is the original and I am just going to take those shadows down and crunch them and here's what we end up with so now we've got an image that was here and has gone to here and you can see I'm just getting rid of some of that haze uh, that's happening in the grays and that's going to get rid of a lot of that noise that the red camera is notorious for. Now the final step in this process is just to clean the final image up and I'm going to do that in my primary color correction again and I'm going to add a little bit of saturation. I'm going to add some warmth back to our image. I'm going to move my shadows. My shadows have gotten a little bit warm. All right and so here's the final shot played back in real time. Again here's the original. And now the final. You can see the power of red raw really gives us a lot of latitude in color correction. So if you've shot in the red format, give it to your colorist in the raw format. Always online in raw if it's possible and feasible economically. Because your colorist can really manipulate an image quite a bit. So that's it for this episode of Anatomy of a Grade. Check out the movie Trail of Blood at trailofbloodmovie.com. Special thanks to the Grary Brothers for letting me use the footage for this demo. And don't forget to check out more episodes of Anatomy of a Grade at basherfilms.blogspot.com. Hope to see you next time. Until then.